Hello again and welcome to our channel and uh, today we will discuss about the Kali Linux Advance. So, uh, we will tackle about the permissions. So, it is very important uh, for a hacker because uh, if there is a modifiable configuration files inside your target uh, machine, then probably you can take advantage of that in order to gain some credentials or uh, to gain some uh, superiority or advantage or uh, privilege uh, escalation to the machine so yes because uh, if you're just a user or have only limited access then probably you need to do this okay inside the targets machine so uh, let's create a file for example alexis uh, yeah linear.txt or .sh okay then let's ls with dash l option so in here this is the permission the nine characters here the first character here is a determining factor if it is a file or a directory so it is a file if it is just dash if it uh, if it is letter d then it is a directory okay then in here let's divide it into three sections okay so i think i can split it into two okay so in here i will put the notes here so the first uh, first three columns that we have here is what you call the user. So this user is actually the owner of the file. Okay, so the owner of the file. Then um, probably in here, R is equals to read, W is equals to right then x is equals to execute and in here is just rw dash so it means this user can just read and write okay so they can see what is in inside this uh, file and they can modify it because it has write permission but they cannot execute this file okay so that's the meaning of this so let's go on with the second three columns which is the group this is the user within the group or the network and in here it's r dash dash meaning it can only read or it can only see what is within that file but it cannot be modified and the last uh, three columns is for the others or the user uh, outside the group or the network and in here it's also r dash dash so now what is the significance of this uh, knowledge if you can see that a configuration file for example uh, here are some uh, important configuration files etc slash sudoers okay so slash etc slash sudoers what is the use of that uh, that file uh, contains the permission that is uh, being given to every user within the computer so for example uh, you are user Alexis then you can see there what are the permissions uh, given root permissions given to uh, a certain user which is Alexis so it's very important because you can change it into all all meaning your current user can do everything so that's why it is also very important so etc pass wd and there's so many uh, configuration files 
uh, that is a uh, very important pass but uh, this is the most common etc pass wd uh, the hash of all of the users the password hash of all the users that's why uh, you can use that in order to uh, password crack all of the passwords of uh, existing users within the machine okay so yeah that's the significance uh, of this and uh, in order for us to change this because we can change uh, that's uh, the goal here to change the permission if uh, we have the privilege to do so so we can use the ch mode for example in here i need uh, to put x here so i can just uh, put u u stands for user so that's the first uh, character what uh, what kind of user uh, what user is uh, you're trying to modify so if it is you then user then if it is uh, G then it's group then if it is uh, O then it's the others so in my case it is you then I want to add an, uh, an access in here we have three operations plus is adding permission minus is denying permission then equals is uh, dictating the permission okay uh, in minus it's very self-explanatory uh, it will deduct that permission so for example I use minus R here then you will see later on that it's already dash dash w dash okay so if i'm doing that but uh, in my case i'm doing plus x in order to make it executable okay so what is the meaning of this so for example uh, i use equal sign then i can just use this rwx so if I use uh, this uh, R, uh, equal u equals rwx, then probably uh, the whole permission will be rwx. So if I just uh, put u equals x, then probably it will be dash dash x, only x. Okay, that's why it's dictating the whole permission for the certain user. Okay, so that's the use of equals. So we can try it. And when we see this, it dictates that yes, only execute. But if we do this, only RW. So that's the equals. Then uh, let's go to the let's add execute so yeah this is already executable so now uh, why we are doing this uh, actually this is the long method okay this is the long method uh, there is a short method okay by using the octal uh, method the octal method is this Just go here, permissions dot dash calculator dot org, and uh, you can just type in if you want the user to read, write, and execute. Then you want the group to just read, and you don't want the other to have a permission. Then you can see here, you can just use this as the permission. It's like 740 then sh So as you can see, uh, it's a shortcut because in here you change the permission of three users: the user, the group, and the others in just one command but if you will use this 
technically you will use three commands three execute so one for user one for group one for others so that's why this is a shortcut so in order for us to know what is uh, the meaning of uh, this it it was called octal because you're using eight characters so from zero one two three four five six seven so it's all eight characters a meaning dash 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 seven meaning rwx so just to explore this you can do this we will change this into one two three so that we will know what is the permission within the one permission within the two and permission within the three so in here this is the permission within the number one because in here as stated here stage mode one for user so one means dash dash x only x so for number two let's see the second column it's dash w dash for third column it's dash wx then for number four let's uh, change this into four five six so that we can see what is the permission within that four five six so four is r dash dash five is dash r dash then dash xr for wait 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 the 5 is r dash x okay and r w dash for 6 okay so here we go so that's the meaning of uh, those octiles and in our case if we do this 740 what is 7 or wx then 4 is r dash dash then 0 is dash 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 so it must be our permission so let's check it's right and that's it so it's very important for us uh, in order uh, again for for us to know if uh, there is a modifiable uh, configuration file or credential or uh, we need to change something in the configuration file so in here uh, another thing that I want you to uh, know is the creation of this uh, the script or the executing of a script so in here, uh, we will edit this uh, lingua.sh into uh, using nano. Nano is just a uh, text editor. Nano, then the file name. And uh, we can uh, put here some uh, bash commands. So that sh meaning it is a bash script. So, if we are using a bash script, then probably it is using Linux commands. So, I, I can just uh, put here some Linux commands. So, I can just type here nmap or uh, in dash c3, then the other side one. So what is the meaning of uh, ping dash c3? So you can uh, see that by doing this ping dash h. Then let's find the dash c. So in here it says that the dash c stands for the count or how many pings it will ping until it stops so in here it will stop after the three pings okay so just three and uh, in here what is the dollar sign one 
the dollar sign one is the argument in any bash script okay so don't worry we will have a another subject or another video for bash scripting alone and uh, in here I just want you to know how to execute a uh, file or bash script or any other file so to save it control X then press Y then enter then to execute it that slash then linga that sh however it is error error because we have an argument as you can see there we have the dollar sign one so the dollar sign one stands for our IP address so 127.0.0.1 then enter and as you can see it functions well so yeah I think that's it and uh, another two uh, commands that uh, I think very important for you is the FTP FTP then the IP address what's uh, the use of FTP if FTP stands for file transfer protocol and it is being used uh, to transfer files uh, within the network so FTP uh, is not really secure but uh, it is also being used uh, uh, today so I think uh, it will be useful port uh, 21 or 2021 2121 is uh, most of the default uh, ports of FTP so if you see port 21 then probably it is FTP so another one is SSH uh, SSH is used for uh, it stands for execution uh, uh, it is being used for remote connection for if you want to remotely connect or control a computer within the internet then SSH is the best option and it is secured okay so SSH then the username of the computer that you want to uh, control then at then the IP address of that computer then enter and it will prompt you for a password okay so I think that's it and I hope you learn something today and in our next video we will discuss about bash scripting